joined today by Mike Spreadborough, Executive Co-Chair of Novo Resources. Mike, Thanks, Thanks, Nova. Nova. good to catch up again. Traditional gold in the Pilbara, a clear focus, big land holding. What's the opportunity? So you're dead right. So Nova has 10,000 square kilometres of tenure in the Pilbara. Can you imagine that? 10,000 square kilometres, that's huge. The largest gold portfolio in Australia. And our focus is gold. And we're out there looking for the next 500, 1 million ounce deposit. We're very active, we're very advanced now with a lot of our key projects and you'll see uh, more drilling rigs fire up this year as we push those projects. But clearly, gold explorer focused on the Pilbara. We do have, uh, we must be very nice about it, we've got a lovely tenement in Victoria near Castlemaine which we're looking for Fosterville gold. But our primary focus is the Pilbara. TSX listed, not many would follow Novo as closely as they would their ASX counterparts. What have they missed in 2022? So 2022, um, you know, we've got to be honest, we did shut down our operations. Like everyone else, we saw high costs. So we've shut our operations, cleared our debt position. So we've now got a very strong balance sheet and we've got some you know, money in the, in the bank that allows us to run our exploration program. So our operational areas, we do hope to do more exploration, but we've really pivoted back into the centre of the Pilbara. South of the Grey's Malina project, you know, most people in Australia would be aware that's a 10 million ounce resource. We're just south of that. We can actually stand on our drill rigs and see a couple of their projects and their drilling. So, you know, we've got this anomaly, which is 20 square kilometres. So that's what 2022 was about, was growing our exploration base, moving from reconnaissance drilling now to primary gold targets. So as we move into 23, you'll see us move forwards. And don't be worried about TSX. You know, it's very easy for our, you know, listeners here to talk to their brokers or Comsec or whatever else, and you can invest on the TSX just as easily as the ASX. Opportunity in 2023, what should investors focus on? Yeah, so the key news flow, and you would have seen in the last couple of days, we put our new uh, corporate pack as part of RIU. Um, that really shows four key projects that we're focusing on this year. Definitely the Edge of Gold Camp, which is south of Malina. We've uh, surprisingly got a really good gold target south of Parapadu. People would think of Parapadu as iron ore, but there's actually a history of good gold mining around Parapadu. Um, the Victorian asset will do some more drilling this year and continue to look for the Fosterville. And we'll go back to the operational area of Nullangine, the Mosquito Creek Basin, and have a look uh, there. So they're the four key areas. So news flow, you know, starting in March when the drill rigs fire up again in the Pilbara, continuing results. But clear target is to take uh, the edge in a gold clamp and the Besha resource from air core to serious RC drilling. And a strong balance sheet. We've got a, enough money to keep us going and to execute it. You know, we've got a great exploration team. It's international based in terms of experience. Um, we carry uh, our own internal uh, technical capabilities. So we've got the right team to go and execute the strategy. And we've got su good support from our traditional owners um, and they're very important to us having access to the ground. Strong balance sheet, big asset base, exciting times ahead for Novo and its shareholders. Mike, thanks for your time. Thanks very much, David.